Hello everyone, this is Vipin. Welcome to my blog and uh, YouTube channel. This uh, video is recorded for explaining a matrix multiplication code which I recently wrote. So, this is a 3 by 3 matrix multiplica multiplier. So, the inputs A and B are 3 by 3 matrix, and the output C is also 3 by 3 matrix. So let me go into the code uh, directly. So you we have a clock and uh, active high asynchronous reset meaning uh, the reset takes effect immediately. It doesn't has to wait for a rising or falling edge of the clock to take into effect. And there is a start uh, signal which is one bit and the matrix mul multiplication process starts only when this signal goes high for one clock cycle at least and uh, A and B are inputs uh, C is output and there is a done signal which is output and this has to be one to indicate that uh, the multiplication is done and the result is available uh, in uh, the output C and you might have noticed the A, B and C are declared as unsigned 71 down to 0. It doesn't look like a matrix, it looks like a 1D array. Why is that? So A, B and C matrices are 3 by 3 and uh, which means they have 9 elements and I am using 8 bits for each element to store them. So you can see that 9 into 8 we need 72 bits so that is why we have 71 down to 0 and um, so this mat type is a custom type I declared for uh, storing the uh, matrix in a temporary way so that I can uh, easily multiply them so array 0 to 2 this indicates the row part and this indicates the column part of uh, 7 down to 0 which is 8 bit and uh, mat a b c are uh, declared as mat type there is a state machine which I am using to do the metri matrix multiplication which has uh, three states uh, an initial state where I convert the a 1d arrays a b into uh, mat a and mat b which is 2d type and this uh, mat a and mat b is used in the next state do underscore multi mult which it means like do multiplication and uh, does uh, norm normal matrix multiplication once that is done uh, once uh, all the elements of c are calculated I go to the next state apply outputs in this uh, state I am converting the result which is available in mat C which is of a 2D type into a 1D array and the uh, output as C also I will uh, give a high value on done so that uh, the test bench or uh, another higher level um, module can identify that the output is ready ok so this is our main process with the state machine in it you can see the asynchronous uh, reset active high reset uh, uh, resets all the variables and signals and uh, here at the rising edge of clock uh, I am checking what is the current state of the state machine so when it is the initial state I check if the start signal is high so if it is not high I am not doing I am not going to do anything it will just remain in this state so if it is high I convert A and B which is in 1D uh, 1D array to uh, 2D matrices matris, mat A and mat B okay. once that is done I am going to the next state here by state is equal to 2 underscore mult Th this is where I am implementing the uh, matrix uh, multiplication so I am multiplying uh, corresponding elements of A and B and then storing it in a variable called a temp and then this temp is added to the specific uh, mat C element 
in a uh, it's basically like uh, ma multiply and accumulate okay and this is where the indices are changed which is very important so the k is uh, changed from 0 to 2 in every clock cycle and every time k reaches the maximum index which is 2 in this case the j is incremented and when j reaches the maximum index the i value is incremented so i is the row number of uh, matrix a and j would be the column number of matrix b and uh, once i j and k reaches the maximum value 2 which means like all the all the output elements in uh, available in c are calculated I go to the next state apply underscore outputs so here I am simply converting the mat C from a 2D format into a, a 1D array which is C and then I change uh, then I set the done signal as 1 to notify that uh, the multiplication is done and I go back to the initial state here so that's all about the code so if you want to change this uh, matrix multiplier to multiply different sized uh, matrices you have to make few changes one would be to change here this is the number of uh, rows and number of columns here and this thing has to be changed as well based on how I explained and uh, I would have to change here also the loops uh, number of rows and number of columns another part would be yeah over here so you can say that uh, you can see that uh, mat a the i is going from 0 to 2 which is uh, the number of rows of matrix a and j is uh, the number of columns of b matrix and k is the number of columns of mat a so you would have to change this maximum values from 2 to respective uh, respective uh, maximum values and uh, again here again you would have to change where you convert the mat c to c so if you make these few little changes uh, you can use the same code for a multiply uh, a different sized uh, matrices and now I will I want to explain the test bench code so test bench code all this is uh, you are aware of it should be simpler uh, here I am instantiating the matrix underscore mult uh, design and uh, so I generate a clock uh, with a 20 nanosecond clock period so 10 nanosecond for a 1 and 10 nanosecond for a 0 so 20 nanosecond which is 50 megahertz it's random for test bench uh, doesn't matter what value is it so I normally use like 10 nanosecond or 5 nanosecond here so apply inputs so here I am applying reset for 1 uh, for 100 nanosecond just to reset the system and then reset is uh, taken off wait for one clock period apply the inputs a and b and start is made as one so that uh, to tell the multiplier that okay start the multiplication wait for 20 nanosecond which is one clock period and then start is reset so wait until done so this line uh, pushes the system into a wait the test bench is waiting until the done output is 1 so once it is 1 I wait for 5 nanosecond and then convert the C output into a 2D mat C so this is done so that I can easily check uh, uh, e easily verify the results in the test bench waveform and then I just wait because it's done I just uh, test it for one input um, also how the 2D matrix is mapped into 1D array 
is explained in the blog so you should definitely take a look there otherwise uh, you might apply some input and it might you might get confused so for example mat a is basically a matrix which says 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so the LSB uh, element is the row 0 column 0 the first element and the second one is here third one here and then here this is row row 1 and column 0 column 1 column 2 so this way this is how you read it alright I guess that's about it um, if you have any doubts or if the code is not working for you let me know the code I haven't synthesized but it should be synthesizable so if there is uh, any problem with uh, synthesizing the code uh, let me know as well um, I hope uh, you like this project and uh, it's useful uh, good luck and have a good day